Didier's foreign minister, of course, on Monday called on the world to take greater action to stop neighbors uh, praising, of course, or sp stop rather Israel aggression against its neighbors, placing blame on the U.S. for obstructing international peace and security. Now, Bashar al Saba addressed the UN General Assembly with a wide-ranging speech where he defended his government's actions uh, during Syria's civil war, criticizing foreign interference in Syria's diplomatic affairs. Our reporter Khadija Tijalo tells us more of that in this report. Israeli forces have intensified their attacks on regional countries, including Syria, targeting essential civilian facilities, residential buildings and even diplomatic sites. These assaults have led to the deaths of dozens of civilians, caused significant material damage, and obstructed the delivery of humanitarian aid to the Syrian population. The conflict traces back to the 1967 Six-Day War, when Israeli captured the Golan Heights, a rocky plateau in the Levant region of Western Asia, towards the international community aside from the Israeli and the United States considers the Golan Heights to be Syrian territory that is under military occupation by Israel. Following the war, Syria dismissed any negotiations with Israel as part of the Khartoum resolution. In a high-level address, Syria's foreign minister Basum al sabah emphasized that Israeli authorities have opted to escalate tensions in the region, taking advantage of the immunity, impunity and unwavering support from certain countries, especially the United States. The minister reiterated that they have fought for decades against occupation and unjust annexation as well as attempts to impose a Zionist identity and numerous blatant and systematic violations perpetrated by the brutal occupier. The conflict between Israeli and Syria centers around the territorial disputes, particularly over the Golan Heights, which Israeli captured during the 1967 Six-Day War and subsequently annexed in 1981, a move not recognized internationally. Syria views the Golan Heights as a territory and ongoing military confrontations have led to significant humanitarian crises, complicating peace efforts. Israel's military in action in Syria often targeting Iranian forces and Hezbollah have further escalated tensions and deepening an animosity between the two nations. For African News, Khadija